Floyd versus Connor, part two. Guys, where do you want to begin with this? Like, do any of us actually believe that Floyd and Connor are in talks to fight one another? Like, does anybody actually believe that? And if so, let's just make sure that we're real clear what the term in talks means. That means that you have somebody who can actually make the decision at the table. You have a promoter, which means a guy with a meaningful bank account, a licensed, and a television distribution partner. You have to have all three of those things, and you have to be at the table for us to have an open conversation saying that we're in talks. Look, I'm sure that Connor and Floyd have made contact with one another. That's a little weird. I mean, not for nothing, every idea starts somewhere, and you got to kind of get it going, but if you and a guy are talking, that's the one thing that you make sure that nobody knows. If you and a guy talk, and you go work out a deal, and you decide you're going to go to the public, or you're going to go to the promoter, absolutely nobody can know that you, you and that guy have spoke, ever. That would be very weird. That would be a huge letdown. Think of two quarterbacks. I can't think of them. Let's use Favre and Brady, whether they played at the same time or not. But let's think of two quarterbacks. And let's say that the Super Bowl was coming up. And let's say that we find out that these two are talking. What are you talking about? How were you talking? Was it email? Was it text message? Were you on the phone with one another? What was the spirit of that call? Why, why would you two guys be talking? And then we're all supposed to come out on Sunday and pretend like this this is heated and you're both going to do everything you can to make sure that you have more points than the other guy when time runs out? There's no spirit where they should be talking. So it's just a very weird thing. I'm just going to bring that to you uh, from Jump Street. I would go a little bit of a step further because being aware of yourself is one of the hardest things we can do as a human being. It's very, very difficult. We can judge others, but we never know ourselves. Chuck and Tito fell into this in front of the whole world. When those guys fought, and then when they fought a second time, there was a world championship. There was a lot on the line in those contests, and there's a reason that did very well. When those two fought a third time, that was not because Oscar De La Hoya didn't know what he was doing or he was promoting it wrong. It was the wrong match. It wasn't the same stakes. It was a very, very different contest. And I'm not certain, as Connor's team and or Floyd's team, are leaking stories to you guys to check the temperature of the community. I'm not certain that when they do that, they're aware of why their first fight worked. It didn't work because it was boxing versus MMA. It didn't work because it was Floyd versus Connor. It didn't work because the year was 2015. That, that's not what happened here. You had the unbeaten simultaneous UFC champion against the unbeaten, active, current, best ever, six-time world champion boxer who was going for 50 and out. But it's important that you understand that concept because there's a number of MMA guys that just keep calling out boxers and they just think, well, I do MMA and he does boxing. And if we put them together, by goodness, we only have one example and that was Conor versus Floyd and that made them both rich. That must be what it is. If I can go box and I get, I'm going to get $100 million. And it's one of these really bizarre spots that moreover, once you find out they are talking, what do we mean they're talking? Is that an expression for something? If it's an expression for something, do not make an expression. Tell us straight up. My management is in talks with their management. It's not what was said. It was that they, they were talking. And we do see that happen sometimes. I would caution strongly. Francis Ngannou against Tyson Fury. Strongly, I would caution you. That is not Francis Ngannou versus Tyson Fury. Those names on a contract isn't what works. The sitting reigning UFC heavyweight champion versus the king of boxing at the same weight class. That There's something there. I could go with that, but we know that those two are actually talking. We know that they've actually spoke. We saw the face-off where they were actually very friendly. And we don't have to have manufactured conflict. We don't have to have to push and pull amongst one another. But you do see something that is very different. What do you mean we're in talks? I, I've never personally lived through anything that I witnessed myself that had fake news on it to the point of McGregor versus Mayweather. That was not the night of business everybody thinks it was. And I know that I deal with people that don't understand business all the time that say it was huge and here was the revenues. They don't understand that if your costs don't exceed your expenditures, you're not doing business. If it's not sustainable, it is not a model that you can take and then remake and remake it and remake it over and over again and reproduce it. You don't actually have a business. You had an idea. And that seems to be something that people continually do miss with Mayweather McGregor. It brought in good money. That's true. 
it spent too damn much money. And when those guys were at the top of the game, when Connor lost, he was still the sitting simultaneous UFC champion. When Floyd won, he was still an active and busy professional boxer. And the very next day, those guys wanted a rematch, not to mention it was warranted. It was a very competitive and close fight, regardless to what the crooks in Nevada try to tell you. It was a very back and forth battle that ended very decisively. Close to a half of an hour later, Connor won more rounds had they given them to him than Canelo won against Floyd. Now, I don't want to debate this and do a back and forth. I'm just trying to share with you guys. It was very hot in the moment. Now you got the clips. Now you got the B-roll. The one thing that hurt that fight, as well as it did, the one thing that hurt it is people believing it wasn't going to be competitive. We couldn't even get the media fully behind it. Some of the biggest names in sports were coming in and talking about if Floyd wins and becomes 50-0, and 0, they should put an asterisk by it because that wasn't a real boxing match. That's what they talked about before this fight. So the one thing that held that fight back is the one thing that part two, which would not exist. We now know it's competitive. We now know that it works. And nobody stepped forward saying they wanted to do it. I mean, this is very relevant as you understand this. Back when that was red hot, it was passed over. And it wasn't that it didn't bring in revenue. It was that the expenses were too much and they couldn't duplicate it. And now you have the guys attempting to revisit. That's okay. I'm just bringing you a conversation of what point do you look smart and do you look like you're willing and do you look like you got the idea for a mega spectacle versus when do you look desperate? It's a tough line. It's really hard to know when you're in that spot. But I, I will just come back to the very simple idea that I'm still not sure to this day that Floyd and Connor understand why that fight worked. I'm not sure. I thought those two did. Those two are very intelligent compared to others for the field that they're in. Apparently, they don't know that that only worked because you had a simultaneous champion against an active boxer that was going for 50 and 0 that, by the way, had six world championships and was giving up a little bit of size. Oh, and by the way, it was to a southpaw. Apparently, they don't know that. Francis and Tyson about to make the same mistake. Anytime you want to go out there, you want to get some good activity going, go ahead. You want to hire somebody to speak for you, go ahead. But you will be responsible for the stupid things that they say. And whichever person in the camp of either Connor and Floyd decided to put this idea and float across the media and chose to word it that those two athletes were speaking to one another just killed whatever momentum that fight could have gained.